Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove the front casing off of a Gould's J10S shallow well pump. This front casing is part number 1K333. And all you have to do is remove four bolts that are... They use a three quarter inch socket. Uh, you might need a breaker bar if they're tight and stuck. Otherwise, a three quarter inch socket, I'm using a half inch drive. Loosen these four bolts. Make sure you have the water out of the pump when you take this casing off there. These pumps are self priming, so they will hold water inside the, um, the casing between the casing and the motor adapter. There's going to be some water that sits in there. Get the two out. I'm going to take this pump apart and totally rebuild it. It might look old and ratty, but there's nothing wrong with it. These pumps can easily be rebuilt and work just like brand new. Way cheaper than buying a new pump, especially if the casing is cracked. From not uh, being drained properly, they crack very easily if you're in a cold climate. Okay, I have the four bolts off. A lot of times if you're in a freezing weather climate, if this pump is not drained properly, water tends to sit right in here. This will crack. You're going to get a crack in here. You're going to need new casing. So make sure you drain them properly or disconnect the whole pump and bring it inside in the winter. That's the easiest thing to do. Okay, I have the four bolts off. Now I'm gonna pry this apart. Might need a screwdriver. And there you go. There's the front casing. Uh, part number 1K333, it's for a shallow well pump, a Gould's J-Series shallow well pump. Uh, uh, you got the casing gasket. This thing's all hard and dried up. I'm going to remove that. This is supposed to be soft rubber. This one's all hard and fragile. And some kind of nest in here. Something. This pump was laying around disconnected. I'm going to get rid of that. Okay, uh, I got the gasket out. This is going to have to get scraped off. The only two parts in here, you have your diffuser. These actually have a part number on them. They're different sizes for different horsepowers. This is going to unscrew. And then underneath that, way inside there, I'm not sure if you can see it, is a nozzle. So that's the only two parts inside this casing. If you buy a new casing, this nozzle that's way in there and the diffuser need to be put into a new casing because they do not come with either part. 
Let me see if I can get this out. 